A child from Arden is fighting a rare genetic disorder that has turned into a battle with cancer. Derek McGinley is just seven years old. News 13's Kristen Aguirre sat down with his father tonight to learn more about his child's battle and how the community can make a difference. We didn't know how we're going to do it. We still don't know how we're going to figure it all out. But Aaron McGinley and his family are doing their very best to navigate their new normal. It was scary. I mean, you know, we, we didn't weren't prepared for that at all. It's not like we saw this coming. His son, seven-year-old Derek, diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder, initially caught during a routine eye exam. You know, an eyeglass appointment is supposed to be boring. But this one was anything but. We thought maybe he just needed an eyeglass appointment. After the doctor noticed something was wrong and dozens of tests and doctor visits later, Derek was finally diagnosed. He has a rare genetic disorder called SAM D9L, one of only 25 people in the world to have it. We felt like that was the only option. Luckily, a doctor in Pennsylvania is able to treat Derek. That's where he is now with mom Amy, battling cancer, a side effect from the disorder. You sometimes hear about uh, people being called brave or whatever, but uh, he really, he really is. Aaron, home in WNC, working to pay down medical debt and take care of their other two children. It's been difficult um, in that uh, the whole family is affected. But Derek, even undergoing a bone marrow transplant, still keeping a brave face through it all. A ham, as his dad would say. We're very, very proud of him for uh, working through everything he's been working through. And jump! His classmates here at Glen Arden are, too, throwing him this ninja party before he left for Pennsylvania. When you look at uh, his room in his hospital, uh, one of the things that Glen Arden did was they sent like ninja themed decorations from the schoolmates. Derek pulling ninja strength from those decorations on hard days. What he's going through up there is hard. But he's not losing hope. I want him back. <laughs> I, want my, I want my son back. Derek expected to stay in Pennsylvania at least until June for observation post the transplant. And tonight, the Greenville community laid to rest Jamari Jackson, who was fatally shot last month at Tanglewood Middle School. Family, friends, and community members all came together to share their final goodbyes. News 13 Samir Nessie joins us live in studio with how the community is moving past this tragedy. Samir? Yeah, Kristen, loved ones of Jamari Jackson gathered at the Relentless Church in Greenville this afternoon, surrounded by a community still processing the murder of Jackson. Now on March 31st, Jackson was shot by a fellow student at Tanglewood Middle School. Now just a little over a week later in the community is celebrating a life that was cut short. No. Members from near and far, all with different relationships, bid their last farewell to 12-year-old Jamari Jackson, known to many as Mari. We know and understand that the students at Tanglewood, uh, uh, they love this young man. A young man that fell victim to an attack at the very location he was gaining his education. On March 31st, Jackson was fatally shot in the chest by a fellow student. No one could expect something like this to happen. We see this on TV a lot in, in other parts uh, throughout the nation. Uh, but when it happens uh, in your own backyard, when it happens to uh, family members or people that you know, uh, that's when it really comes home. Jackson leaves behind his parents, four siblings, and countless friends and family members. It hurts me so much to think that I'll never be able to talk to him again and all the things he won't be here for and the people he left behind. So sad to see you go. I'll forever have your love and I know you're watching me from above. If Mari was nothing else, I can't even call him a boy because he was growing into a gentleman. He was literally a man of his word. <laughs> As a community mourns a life lost to a senseless act of violence, videos and pictures highlight a life that meant so much to those who knew Jackson. So let's think about all the memories that we were lucky enough to make with him and all the experiences that we have. While the road to healing is created, the support of a community thrives. Many at the Celebration of Life service wearing red t-shirts similar to this picture from a far happier time. This family is definitely going to need the community uh, to wrap their arms around them. This is, this is uh, devastating uh, to the family and to the community. <laughs> A very emotional day. Jackson's mother wrote a love letter to her son in which she wrote, quote, 
You know you left this world happy and made others happy. I want you to continue to keep that smile and goofy spirit, end quote. As for the alleged 12-year-old suspected shooter, he has been taken to a detention center in Columbia, South Carolina, where he faces a charge of murder and several possession of firearm-related charges. Gas prices across the country are slowly starting to come down, but not fast enough for some folks here in the mountains. Right now, the national gas average is around $4.11 a gallon. That's according to AAA. News 13's Stephanie Anastasi shows us what you can expect next time you're at the pump. Gas prices in North Carolina are actually almost 30 cents less than the national average. At last check, it was $3.86 a gallon. I think you're terrible. That's how most people feel about the price at the pump these days, especially people like Dale Whitmer, who spend a lot of time driving. I drive 88 miles a day to work, round trip. So yeah, it's affected us. I mean, I'm having to do things, I, I'm having to slow down on some things that I normally can buy, I can't buy now. Across the Asheville area, prices are lower than the national and state average for a regular gallon of gas. Sunday evening, this BP near Interstate 26 was at 369. It was the same price across the street at this Shell station. Both stayed busy as people came by to fill up. It seemed like some of the stations, the prices have been going down. And according to Gas Buddy, they are and will continue to. That's as long as oil prices remain under $100 per barrel and there's no escalations in Russia's war on Ukraine. But Lynette Buddy doesn't buy that. I kind of am a Trump person, so I, I feel like, um, you know, it was better, you know, when he was president. So, and I, I don't think that we can blame it on Russia. I think we, you know, it's... Um, it's uh, a Biden problem. She says she'll be happy when prices are back to where they were last year. At least a dollar a gallon cheaper. Whitmer is hoping for even lower than that. Around two dollars. Regular gas isn't the only one taking the heat, though. Diesel is too. According to Gas Buddy, the price of it is slowly coming down and should soon fall back under the five dollar mark nationally. But I would really love to see some relief. And hopefully, for the sake of these drivers, they feel that soon. Gas Buddy predicts will be under $4 a gallon nationally in the next 10 to 15 days. We'll keep you updated on when that happens.